he's attracting big crowds, sir. Like, I'm telling you, you're seeing a thousand people there, and I've seen some of your crowds, 500 in Quebec, but smaller crowds. He's got momentum. He's talking about axing carbon price, cutting things, getting rid of the gatekeepers. Uh, now, you've become very much more openly critical of him. Specific, now you're here in Ottawa, specifically about his support of the truckers. Yes. Why? Not, he, not support, support of a blockade. I mean, what he says he supports freedom. No, 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 no. He no. says he supports oh, freedom. Excuse, excuse me. I mean, d d were you mistaken? I mean, he actually didn't support the blockade. What you saw, what he did was he was, was out there. He was out no, there with he, the truckers. You, you sound like you drank the Kool Aid here. No, no, he and was no, no. out there with the truckers. Every, I'm giving everyone, you his view. Evan, everyone knows that Pierre Poliev supported the blockade, and I don't know. I don't care how much spin you put into it. Here is someone who makes laws and says I can break laws because I'm above the law. Well, I'm sorry. If you want to be a leader of a party, if you want to sit in the House of Commons and make laws, you have to obey them. The laws of the land are not a buffet table from which you choose what you want or do not want to support. And if you say to Canadians, I want to be the leader of the Conservative Party and I want to be the chief legislator of the country, but I don't have to obey the laws, I'm sorry. That's not just a failure in leadership. It disqualifies you, as far as I'm concerned, as being someone who thinks or aspires to be a leader of a party. But, sir, uh, he would say he doesn't support any illegal activity. He just supported the truckers. And by your logic, what about Candace Bergen, the interim leader? She was out there. Andrew no, 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 Scheer, no, no, no. the Evan, former leader, Evan, he was out there. No, no. Lots I'm sorry. of conservatives I'm sorry. were out there. I'm sorry, Evan. I mean, it's not that, you know, it's not that easy. He supported blockades. Blockades that uh, forced people to l close down their businesses, that made us lose jobs, that even had the White House, Evan, call up the PMO here in Ottawa and say to Prime Minister Trudeau, do you want us to clean this up? I mean, that's how far this thing went. So you think he should be disqualified for it? I'm I saying, we... I'm saying as he goes into this race, that if he supports, as he supported blockades, that how can he make the argument that I can be a leader of a party and a prime minister of the country and not obey the laws of the land? I mean, clearly, I mean, every Canadian saw this. So now he's going to tell us that what happened actually did not happen? I'm, I'm sorry, it's not that simple. He cannot redo the past, and he can't actually invent events. He supported the blockade. There's consequences to those decisions, and one of the consequences is that he should not be a leader of a party, even less a prime minister, and make laws if he can't obey the laws that he himself will vote for.